I am an associate professor in geological sciences and curator of fossil vertebrates at the University of Colorado at Boulder. I'm a fossil vertebrate person. I work on fossil mammals in particular, and I'm interested in the change in fossil mammals during global climate change. When I go to the high Arctic, I usually work with numerous colleagues from a range of institutions. I have representatives from Canadian institutions. I have folks from the University of Hawaii. Uh, this year we also had someone from France, MIT, and the Royal Terrell Museum in Alberta. Ellesmere Island is in the Canadian Arctic Archipelago, which is part of the territory of Nunavut. It's next to Greenland, and the localities that we work are approximately 80 degrees latitude. During early Eocene time, some 50 million years ago, these localities would have been approximately 75 degrees north paleolatitude. Ellesmere Island is one of the coldest, driest places on Earth today. Uh, winters, uh, temperatures tend to drop down to approximately minus 40 degrees Celsius on average, while summer temperatures usually hover around a mean of about 8 to 10 degrees Celsius. 50 to 55 million years ago during the Eocene epoch, Ellesmere Island was very different from what it is today. Uh, Ellesmere Island was fairly warm. We had temperatures in the summer upwards of 20 degrees Celsius. And during the winter, it probably did not go below freezing, at least not very often. Uh, Ellesmere Island was forested with dense forests, not unlike what we see in the southeastern United States today. And it had a whole host of vertebrates living there, from alligators and giant tortoises to primates and mammals. Our study focused on the ancient animals and looking at the bones and teeth. By analyzing the oxygen isotopes, we were able to get at ancient temperatures of the river water, which in turn is correlated to ancient temperatures of the atmosphere. There have been other studies that have focused on using ancient plants, fossil plants, as a means of estimating temperature. And what we discovered is that our temperature estimates based on the vertebrate animals tend to overlap with temperature estimates that are based upon the fossil plants, including the trees that once grew in the Arctic. Right now, there's a big concern by many scientists, including the paleontologists and the geologists, about a proposed coal mine that would be situated on central Ellesmere Island, precisely where the fossil vertebrate localities are. Um, this is a big concern because these fossils are unique. They're extraordinary. They're some of our best evidence for climate warming in the high Arctic regions, and they're irreplaceable. I think of the early Eocene localities on Ellesmere Island as being a deep time laboratory for understanding the impacts of global climate change, in particular of global warming in Arctic regions. And as such, it's a means of being able to predict what's in store for Arctic ecosystems as the climate continues to warm today and into the future.